The Town Now, Five O'Clock on this Sunday evening, December 22nd, 2013. Town Now for the Water Magician PJ Wiggins. The Evening Report, Sunday, December 22nd, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts got a temperature of 62 degrees with fair skies with a humidity 73%. Wind speed up about 10 miles per hour, barometer 282 inches, 2.53 degrees visibility 10 miles. Let's take a look at our little radar scope around the country. And shows a lot of snow showers around the Prince Edward Island in Canada. Back to the sleep pelts off the Nova Scotia line of rain and sleet and snow pelts from east to Nova Scotia, stretching on the Nova Scotia, and the rain showers stretching off the Maine and northern Massachusetts coastline and back to the Rain showers in Central Connecticut, Southern after Southern Tier, New York, and after Northern New Jersey, down for Eastern Pennsylvania, down for Maryland, and Southern down for DC, down for Southern Virginia, down for Western Carolinas, and Eastern Tennessee, and down for Georgia, and Southern and down for Southern Mississippi, down for Southern Alabama, down for Louisiana, and another batch of rain showers from Northeastern Louisiana, down for Northern to Mississippi, down for. Tennessee and then after 7 Kentucky here. And it's going to be against the Ravens for 5. Batches of sleet and snow pellets in eastern portions of New Brunswick and searching out for extreme northern Maine and northern New Hampshire and Vermont and then the southern Quebec and the snow stretching out from central Quebec and searching in Ontario and then through the UP of Michigan and then northern Michigan and then northeastern and western portions of Wisconsin and Illinois and stretching down through eastern portions of Minnesota. Batches of snow showers around the Moines area of Iowa here. Batches of sleet and Rain and snow pelts around northern Indiana, land of snow pelts from southern Michigan, stretching out through around Detroit air. Back to the snow showers in the northeastern portions of Colorado, stretching out in western Nebraska, and the southwestern portions of South Dakota, stretching out through Wyoming, and down through western portions of. Montana and back to the snow showers in the eastern portions of Idaho, down to Northern Utah. Back to the rain and sleet and snow pellets in northeastern portions of Oregon and south eastern portions of Washington State. Back to the rain and sleet and snow showers in western portions of Washington and northwestern portions of Oregon and western portions of Victoria Island. And a line of snow showers in southeastern portions of south Eastern British Columbia and batches of sleet and rain and snow pelts in eastern portions of British Island, British Columbia, Canada. Batches of snow showers in western portions of Alberta. Batches of snow showers in Saskatoon. Near Rocky Canada. Good evening. 16 degrees with clear skies here. Okay, let us take a look at our satellite loop and it shows. As your life and career change, fidelity is there. A batch of clouds covering from eastern Texas and Mexico, stretching out for the southeastern states and stretching out for the eastern seaboard and stretching out for seven portions of Quebec and stretching out into the land of Canada and stretching out in Ontario, stretching out for the western Great Lakes and stretching out for Missouri and down for Arkansas, down for eastern portions of Kansas and Oklahoma and northeastern portions of Texas and stretching out for Minnesota, stretching into Dakotas, down for the Northern Rockies and stretching out for the Central Rockies and the Southern Rockies and down for western portions of Texas and stretching out for that Pacific Northwest and stretching out for Al Berta and down for British Columbia here. Okay, let us take a look at our map situation and it shows a cold front stretching from Northeastern tip of Mexico, stretching down for Western Gulf of Mexico, down for Alabama, down for Georgia, and stretching down for the Carolinas, down for the Virginia, and down for Western Pennsylvania, and stretching with a low pressure around Eastern Ontario, and a warm front stretch from Western New York, stretching down for the New England, and stretching down for stuff of Nova Scotia, and then a bunch of clouds covering an associated front, no cold front from New Mexico, stretching out for Central Texas and Louisiana, and stretching out of Mississippi and Western Tennessee. No pressure centered in Northern Alabama, and another associated front from Northern Colorado, stretching out for Wyoming and Northern Idaho, stretching out for Oregon and Northern Eastern Washington, and for Eastern portions of British Columbia. High pressure centered off the Carolinas and centered in eastern Nebraska and Kansas, eastern portions of Utah, and northeastern portions of California. 38 degrees at our temperature in Boston, 58 degrees at our temperature in Washington, D.C., and Atlanta, 81 out in Miami, Florida, 76 out in Brownsville, 42 in Dallas, 24 out in Kansas City, 31 out in Chicago, 19 in Minneapolis, 
15 in Great Falls, 50 out in Seattle, 56 in San Francisco, 64 in Los Angeles, 34 in Salt Lake City, 38 in Denver, and 39 in Albuquerque. Front of from Western Illinois, and Denver, Indiana, and Ohio. And another friend of mine from Central Michigan, and from Wisconsin, and now from North Eastern Portions of Minnesota. Are here? Okay. Expanded snows. The expensive storm system, which has been affecting in the central and eastern United States, has begun to wind down. It is a move east, but not before bringing one last round of heavy rain to southeast and middle of tonight. Now below level ultra over the central U.S. shifts east, where tonight precipitation is expected to fill in the west of an ongoing swath of moderate rain and impact in Alabama and Georgia to western Virginia. The entire axis will slowly shift east with a slow-moving cold front, and the potential for flooding will be present from Florida Pan Island for the northern Milan region, and better times with those axial precipitation, which is north of New England temperatures at the surface will remain below freezing north as a strong stationary boundary extended roughly east-west around New England, supported with some freezing rain for Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine. Additional light snow accumulation is expected for northern Maine for tomorrow. The weather patterns start of the week will be turning much quieter in the wake of the eastern U.S. storm system. There will be no major storms to speak of, but the northwest will stay unsettled with the approach of a Pacific front late tonight. Coastal and valley rain will more than storage forecast for Tuesday with the higher elevations we could up a good 6 to 12 inches. High temperature on Christmas Eve will be near the below average for the eastern half of the nation as a strong ridge of high pressure builds in. The west will see near the above, above average temperatures for the Christmas itself. The temperatures will be returning near average for much of the entire lower 48 with the exception of the northeast and then the lower upper Mississippi Valley with will remain about 10 to 20 degrees colder than late December normals. And for our forecast discussion for New England, shop Frontal boundary will remain draped across the region tonight, yielding a wide range of temperatures mild across Connecticut, Rhode Island, Southeast Massachusetts, chilly elsewhere. This will yield freezing rain and drizzle across New Hampshire and Northern Massachusetts early Monday. Alright, scattered shots tonight will transition to steady rain heavy at times. Late tonight and Monday as low pressure moves up to the coast, mainly dry, but much colder weather wraps Christmas Eve and lingers into Christmas Day. And never ran a precipitation as possible towards the end of the week. And Near-term forecast till 6 a.m. in the Monday morning. Tricky forecast regarding southward progression of shallow cold air mass tonight in the Monday morning as the expected mesoscale scale models capturing this air mass very well, including its southward evolution at 3 p.m. Front of boundary is between from Marshfield, Massachusetts, extended west northwest of the Worcester Airport in the southwest of Hampshire. Mesoscale scale models tag this front a bit far for southern in the Massachusetts Connecticut Red Island border in the southeast Massachusetts. Very close to the weather and forecast office during Taunton, Massachusetts, half of the area of sub freezing temperatures will lag to the north across southern New Hampshire to the route two and four nine five quarters of northern New East Massachusetts. Lower probably did that. Few hours of sub freezing may be drained briefly in the mass back eastward to the 120 quarter for the freezing temps. This includes Metro West Boston, very far, including some Worcester County, despite they probably being low across the air and only need a trace of freezing rain and drizzle to the far right. Fire the advisory. More importantly, it only takes a trace of ice to cause a very slippery travel. Have it left the great or Boston and City, Boston Island, that advisory are given temps are marginal and maybe enough easily when they're coming on to get temps about freezing. Winds will become more onshore across northeast Massachusetts, however, all metal guns suggest have to sun shut as cold sun for sprints should more normally overnight enhance into the cold air, damning the sprints. For the freezing rain become a moderate to high cross in the state 495 quarter, the northeast Massachusetts with a lower risk in the Route 120 corridor. Precipitation will be light, spotty, and disorganized first half of the night, with the precipitation becoming steadier and more widespread and organized after six hours as next final rain moves up the coast, therefore, risk of approach will actually increase after six hours. How concerned tonight will be your own extent of a dense fog. Unfortunately, model gun is not captured in dense fog currently. This poor model verification dense fog should be focused along in the near frontal boundary overnight. This is expected to stack stuff for tonight. Given confidence is low and real coverage of dense fog in this left location world up then descent fog. A variety and address via special weather statement, mild temperature, especially for south of the planet across Connecticut Rhode Island and southeast Massachusetts, tricky fire across by the overnight low bending exact location of frontal boundary. Okay, let us take a look at our 7 8 forecast. It goes like this. For tonight, rain likely may after 3 a.m. Patchy fog covers, cloud skies low on 3 and 9 degrees, southwest with about. 5 to 9 miles become a line and a variable. Chance of precipitation is 60%. New precipitation amounts between a 10 to 4 inch possible. For Monday, rain, patch of fog, 947 degrees. Not with about 5 to 10 miles become a line and a variable in the afternoon. Chance of precipitation is 9%. New precipitation amounts between 10 to 3 quarters and 1 inch possible. Monday night, a chance of rain and snow showers before 1 a.m. Then a chance of rain showers between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Then a slight chance of showers of snow after 3 a.m. Most of the sky clouds are low to around 29 degrees. Northwest wind about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Little or no schoon, queen should expect it. Tuesday, Pakistan's got a high near 34 degrees, northwest wind about 8 miles per hour. Tuesday night, 
Quartz class got low 19 degrees. Christmas day, sunny skies high near 26 degrees. Wednesday night, most class got low 20 degrees. Thursday, part of the sunny skies high near 40 degrees. Thursday night, most class got low 26 degrees. Friday, mostly sunny with a high near 36 degrees. Friday night, part of the sky low 22 degrees. And for Saturday, most of the sunny skies high near 34 degrees. Saturday night, part of the sky low 23 degrees. And for Sunday, most of the sunny skies high near 41 degrees. Peter's, what a phase of the evening. A rainy and a mild evening on the top, and one more day of rainy and mild weather back to the normal on Christmas Eve. This is PJ West. Have you a good day with a good positive attitude and a good evening. I'll see you at 11.